Today's topic is about postpartum. So I only did this video because one of my friends told me I should do a YouTube video on postpartum because I was talking to her about how I was going through my postpartum and well while I was talking to her about my postpartum I was crying. <laughs> I didn't know why I was just talking to her and I was just crying. It literally just happened. Um, so she told me once I felt better, I should make a video about my postpartum. That's why I haven't been on YouTube. And I decided to make a video. At first, I was kind of antsy about it because I'm like, no, no, nobody wants to hear about postpartum. But then I'm like, no, it's females that are 16 and pregnant and or 17 or any age and go through po postpartum. Different people go through it. Not everyone goes through it, but a lot of females go through it. I thought I personally wasn't going to go through it, so that's why I wanted to do a video also to talk to you guys about the po how, what postpartum is for those that never went through it that are my age that don't have kids. To be aware of people with postpartum, like your mom that just had a baby or stuff like that. So, um, I decided to do a video. So, what I want to talk about is the emotions of postpartum. It's like different emotions. Sometimes you might feel angry and mad at yourself because you can't do something right, like with the baby or like making yourself something to eat. It doesn't matter. Like you might just get mad at yourself for stupid things, changing the diaper. Like it's just crazy things because you're a new mom and your emotions are going right are trying to get back into place because all your emotions just dropped after you just had all your home hormones just dropped after you just had this baby and it's like okay let me get back to how I used to be but it's taking your body a while to get back how you used to be because you were pregnant for nine months I don't know if you guys can hear Harmony but she's over there making noises <laughs> she always does this Okay, sorry. Harmony was in her crib making noises. I had to go see. Well, her bassinet making noises. I had to go see what she was doing. So, um, yes, postpartum is, it's crazy. You cry for no reason. When I was in a hospital, because I had to stay in the hospital with Harmony for six days, they released me this, uh, two days after I had her. But they were only, they were going to release her six days so i stayed the six days with her like a mom should you should stay with your child as long as you can and then if your child's premature stay with your child as long as you can because not everyone's going to take care of your child how you want to take care of your child so keep that in mind um so i stayed in the hospital with harmony for six days and i went through some postpartum in the hospital because I was in the hospital for so long and it's like everyone else gets to take home their baby and like two days after they have them and I couldn't and I just was feeling like all these emotions it was just crazy and it was like I had to be there with her no matter what no matter how I felt I had to be there with her because that's my child so it was just like a lot of emotions and Things that just happened in my pregnancy that I didn't get to talk about during my being pregnant because I wasn't trying to stress myself out. It was just like a lot of stuff that was built up during my pregnancy that I never let out. I never had a chance to let out because I just was finding out I was pregnant in August. And it was like, what? I was going through all these emotions, crazy emotions. I'm like, what's going on with me? So, in the hospital, I had a breakdown the whole six days, but I was hiding it from myself because, I, I'm saying I'm hi I was hiding it from myself because I would cry, and then I'd be like, what, wait, hold on, what am I doing? Like, I'm like wiping my tears, I'm like, 
what are you crying about? Like, it's nothing to cry about. But really, I needed that cry. So I had talked to my mom, and she told me it was okay. You, I was going through postpartum, and that's how her mom was with her. And it was, she said it's hard having a, a baby. It, that's why they say it takes a village to raise a kid. It surely does, because that first month with that baby, it's like, oh my God, you got to wake up back to back it's like hard and I feel bad for people that have parents but their parents aren't as supportive or aren't as helping you know what I mean like people that are on their own I feel bad because it's a lot of work and I applaud you guys because having a child isn't easy and doing it on your own isn't easy so I applaud people that's doing it on their own no parent help, no boyfriend or baby dad help. I applaud you guys because it's hard. And my boyfriend helps me as well, and so do my parents. But it's so hard. It's hard. It's hard being a parent. And people that are just having kids, and like me, and um, are just starting to get back out and go out with their friends like a month later or a few weeks later and someone's saying something to you like didn't you just have a baby up oh. just shut them up because they don't know how hard it is and how bad you need to be outside and what around your friends they don't know how hard it is to be a mom because they're not a mom they're a teenager you're a teen mom so young ladies that are going out and partying have your fun because it's hard being a mom and you need that break. And you're a teenager so it's like you're cutting off your whole life. And this might be your last time going out that month or that week. You know what I'm saying? And you need that break. Like it's been a hard week and you go out. Then you have someone come out to you. Oh, didn't you just have a baby? Okay, and? Okay. So let people know it's hard being a mom. So... Y'all need to stop commenting on moms that go out after they have a baby a few weeks later or a month later or two months later. Oh, didn't you have a baby? You're supposed to be in the house taking care of your child. Ugh. How about you have one? And then I'm going to see you out too after you have one because you're going to be like, it's hard being a mom. Because it surely is. So, back to postpartum. Um... Yes, postpartum is like a little depression stage that you go through. Some people go through it for two weeks or even longer. It It's hard. Like, a lot of people go through it worse than what I did. I went through it probably for like a good two weeks, I want to say, because when I came home from the hospital, I was, I didn't have nurses to help me. So it was just me and the baby and my boyfriend and... Then when he would go back home, it was just me with the baby. And it's like, okay, I had this little baby, and she won't stop crying, and I don't know why. I fed her, I changed her, and it's just nothing I can do to make her stop crying. She won't go to sleep, and it's like she's getting up back to back every two hours to eat. It's hard the first month, the second month, the third month. It's hard in general being a parent. It never gets easy. Um, but yeah, postpartum is, it's a lot. It's a lot of depression and it's scary. And I just want to let people know that you're not alone. The, you're not alone. And it's nothing wrong with you that you're crying and then happy. And then it's postpartum. So it's hard. And it's like all your emotions. If you had a, be a hard pregnancy like I did because I had a lot of, I was I was really stressed out my whole pregnancy and um I don't want to cry <laughs> but um I was back and forth in the hospital like around when I got later on in my weeks because I was so stressed out and it was a lot of stress on me and then I was in I was in the hospital because she was trying to come early she tried to come early twice had to get this shot for her lungs so they'd be developed and thank god i had a healthy baby because it's no joke being in that hus hospital for a long time 
it's it's hard. It's really hard. And I applaud people that have premature babies too and they're um have to go back and forth to the hospital with their to go see their baby and take feed their baby and take care of their baby because it's hard. You also have stuff that you have to do in life, but you also have to visit the person you gave birth to because that's your baby. And sometimes you don't even know when you're coming home. That like with me, I didn't know when I was coming home. They didn't tell me how long she was going to be in there. It all depended on her. So it all depends on the baby. As long as they're breathing fine and doing fine, they can go home. But if they're not, it takes a lot of time for these little small babies to actually go home. It's not a joke having a premature baby. It really isn't. It's no joke having any baby. But, um, yeah. So all I want to say is you're not alone with postpartum. Um... It's something that every mom goes through, almost every mom goes through, um, and um, it's hard, but you're going to get through it. Um, a lot of times it just takes, like, um, your mom or a family member to talk to you, or you talk to a friend about it, whatever. It just... As long as you talk about it, it's fine. If you record yourself and talk about how you're feeling that day and that makes you feel better, it's fine. As long as you're not thinking about harming the baby or harming yourself, just, just talk about it. Talk about it because it's, it's not going to hurt anybody to talk about it. A close friend, your mom, your dad, your brother, sister, whoever you feel comfortable with, talk about it. If you have a nurse that comes over your house, talk about it. Like a, a teacher, talk about it. It's hard. Postpartum is very hard and it's stressful. It's hard. So I just want to tell you guys that don't, you're, it, you're really not alone. It's it's okay to be it's okay to cry and let it out if you gotta cry in the shower so you because you don't want to cry in front of your baby cry in the shower because that's what I did I did that for probably a total of 12 days cried in the shower every time I got in the shower I just cried and I cried and I cried and I cried and I told my mom when she had came to visit me in the hospital our last day she was like have you been crying in the shower still I said no I was still crying in the shower but I didn't want to let her know because it was just like I was oh I was over my postpartum but I really wasn't over it I was like oh get in there so I'm like I talked about it I just still need to cry because it was a lot of stuff that I just wanted to cry about because it was a lot that I was holding in my whole pregnancy so it's okay I don't want to cry <laughs> in front of you guys but it's all right. Um, it's hard going through being being pregnant at a young age and trying to finish school, doing homework. It's hard being a parent. It really is. So I understand. It's like, <sighs> but if your postpartum gets worse and it lasts for more than two weeks, Talk to your doctor, talk to your mom, so they can help you out with it, because it's serious. It's nothing to play with. But that's all I wanted to talk to you guys about today, and I'm actually done, because I don't want to cry in front of you guys, and I'm about to watch Shameless on Netflix, so yeah. And Harmony's about to get up in like an hour at 8. So, we're out.